because I absolutely believe in my heart and soul that the people who live out in small towns and communities across this country can be successful and compete with anybody if they actually have a fair chance. And I think that's what we're talking about. Uh, what I want to do is talk about a few ideas that I, I believe will help strengthen rural America. Uh, one idea is, is what I call a REACH fund, R-E-A-C-H, that's an acronym. And basically is to get money, capital, to rural areas. Most of the capital in America ends up in big cities and urban areas. It doesn't get out to rural areas, which means it's harder for startup businesses, for entrepreneurs, people who want to do, have businesses, and who want to create jobs. Um, it's harder for them to get the money to do it. So we're going to create a national reach fund, which is a capital fund specifically focused on making sure capital is available in rural areas. A second thing that we're going to do, and this is part of changing the way we do energy in America. You know, we need, we got to first of all get off our addiction to oil. Uh, we, I, th I think America should be leading the way in, in addressing this issue of climate change, global warming. Uh, the way I think we need to do it, and I'm just going to get to the rural piece of this in a second, but we ought to cap carbon dioxide emissions in America. We ought to have a national cap. We ought to be ratcheting that cap down. We ought to allow for companies that are going to emit carbon dioxide under the cap. We ought to auction off the right to do that. That'll generate billions of dollars. A big chunk of that money ought to go to helping change the way we use energy in America. And that includes investment in clean, alternative, renewable sources of energy. Uh, ethanol is an obvious example here in Iowa. But, you know, wind, solar, a whole range of biofuels, cellulose-based fuels. Uh, and we need research and development in all those areas. And we need to do it as a nation, not just have private uh, business doing it sporadically. We need to make an investment in that. We use 22 million barrels of oil a day in this country, far more than anybody else in the world. 12 million of those barrels are imported. It's bad for America, bad for our economy, bad for our security. And we can use this change in the way we use energy in this country to create jobs in rural America. We're going to, first of all, strengthen family farmers uh, because our uh, corn and cellulose-based uh, uh, fuels will become part, a bigger part, uh, of how we provide energy in this country. Uh, by the way, the other thing we need to do is we need to give family farmers a real chance, uh, which means we're going to have to be much tougher and willing to, to use the laws that exist in this country to stop these vertical integrated conglomerates, corporate farmers, uh, from taking over farming in America, which is what we see happening. There are a lot of ways to do that, including the stricter enforcement of our antitrust laws. But we have to give family farmers a fair shake. What we're trying to do with all these things is we want to get capital to rural America and we want, um, we want to make sure that our farmers have a chance and that they have uh, a market for what they're growing, uh, a market that's economically sustainable, which is what this energy transformation does. And we want to make sure the smaller communities have the infrastructure to be able to compete, compete with bigger cities and, and urban areas, which means mapping out the places in America where broadband doesn't presently exist and making broadband available in those places. And in addition to that, education. You know, we sometimes have trouble attracting our best teachers to smaller communities and rural areas. We ought to create a financial incentive to get our best teachers to those places so that we know that the schools, employers are always looking at the school system, decide where they're going to locate. So that the schools can be strong in rural areas and the employers are satisfied that uh, the education there will be good. And we want to use technology to make the best um, uh, medicine available in rural areas. And that can be done through the use of, of technology and broadband. So all these things, Get capital there, changing the way we use energy, standing up for family farmers, making sure that the infrastructure is there for success. All these things are aimed at saving and strengthening rural America.